I'm Larry Hall, a national judge for the Communities in Bloom program. Today, we are going on a video tour of the Last Mountain Lake Culture Center in Regina Beach, Saskatchewan. Volunteerism is an important component of the CIB program, and this culture center was brought into being by volunteers and is now run by volunteers. This tour is presented as an example of what can happen with volunteer support. We are at the Last Mountain Lake Culture Center and I have with me Kristen Titar, who is the program coordinator for the center for the last uh, seven years, right Kristen? Yeah. So Kristen, can you give me a little bit of background in terms of how this building came to be? Um, yeah, it's got a pretty great story. In the late 1990s, there was an Arts and Residence program that was held by the Arts and Crafts Association here in Regina Beach. And this building is kind of um, came out of that organization in those residencies. So in, the, in 1999-2000, a group of volunteers led by a woman named Elsie Shirley uh, got together and planned a large art center. And it wasn't sure how, they weren't sure how it was all gonna pan out. Um, they, Elsie actually found this building, an abandoned schoolhouse in Surat, which is a town about an hour away from here. And um, through many volunteer hours, lots of planning and uh, funded primarily by Elsie herself, this building was moved here in, the, in late 2000 and was open to the public in 2002 um, after about 5,500 hours of volunteer work. So that, that's uh, an awful lot of work and there must have been an awful lot of the uh, community members involved in that. Yeah, so getting the building here was one thing, but once the building was here they realized it needed a ton of work. Um, so money was put in by community members to buy square footage of the building, uh, windows were sponsored, uh, pretty much everything in the building was new and funded by the community um, and by LC. Uh, there are a few original parts to this building, the floor in this room being one of them, but everything else was put in over a span of two years uh, by people right here at the beach. Yeah, and I noticed the windows all have plaques on them identifying who had purchased that window. Right? Yeah, so there we, we tried or they tried to acknowledge as, as much as they could the contributions from the community. Uh, we've got the window plaques, they're kind of found throughout the building, as well as a few plaques on the doors. Um, and we have an extensive list of volunteers and donors in our lobby area. Right, we'll take a look at that. Uh, how many individuals are volunteering today? Um, we have approximately 40 volunteers that manage the gallery on the weekends. We are open on the weekends because of those volunteers. It equals about 500 volunteer hours a year. Um, currently, we have a volunteer board of directors and there are working boards. So they put in many, many hours. I can't even calculate how many hours, but currently we have 10 board members who are serving, but we've had as many as 20. Um, we have volunteers that come in to help with with maintenance um, we have a partnership with the museum that is also sort of shares this um, heritage area of the town and it's some of their volunteers who help us maintain the the grounds here um, so overall i'd say we're close to 60 volunteers currently other than the plaques uh, are there any other activities that the center conducts to thank volunteers um, we do try and have an annual sort of volunteer party. Um, it usually takes place in the summer. We do a nice barbecue. We have live music often. Uh, last year we tied it in with our annual general meeting so we could get a little more feedback from the people who contribute um, a lot to this building. And we've been doing those volunteer appreciation events for nearly 20 years. That's excellent. Um, what about uh, participation in terms of individuals coming into the gallery, uh, are, is there a wide variety of people that, that are taking part? Um, yeah, I, I, we have about 2,000 visitors to the gallery a year. Um, 
we run about 13 different exhibitions in our two spaces over a year, which is a quick turnaround. We are fortunate to be located right next door to the K-8 school out here, and so we have a lot of interaction with children. Um, we have visitors of pretty much every age. We have a relationship with the care home in, in Lumsden, which is about 15 minutes away, and they bring the residents in from time to time to see the shows, and often we'll have a picnic up on our deck. Um, and it's used, this, this space in particular, the galleries are used by many community organizations um, for meetings and gatherings uh, throughout the year. Good, well thank you. I think we're going to do a little tour of the building and take a look at some of the spaces. Sounds great. Thank you. Okay, the community garden has been in operation for about four years. Uh, when they first started planting and preparing the soil, they uh, didn't have access to water. So the culture center used to run a hose over here for them and provided all the water for the first uh, two years of the community garden's operation. Just a uh, part of working together with other organizations in the community. Well, Kristen, it's taking an awful lot of funds to uh, keep this organization running. 
Uh, what are some of the activities and some of the sources of revenue for the Glass Mountain Lake Culture Center? Um, so we do have uh, an endowment that Elsie left that helps us to run a lot of our day-to-day -day operations. Um, in around 2009, the Cultural Center started to receive Saskatchewan Arts Board funding, um, now known as Sask Arts. Uh, we have professional arts organization funding, which, which assists us in paying artists. Um, artist fees for showing in the gallery and bringing artists in to do workshops. Uh, but we still rely heavily on fundraising and so we have a concert series that takes place in our gallery. Um, the revenue from that generally goes towards our fundraising account. Um, we rely on our volunteers to help with um, running those concerts and organizing those. Uh, in the past, we've kind of done larger gala fundraisers. A couple of years ago, we did a two-night theater event that was also um, quite a large fundraiser for us. But the majority of our fundraising efforts are a result of our volunteer board and our volunteers. Thank you.